Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habitu fillah A beautiful ather Min Abu Umar ibn Abdul Barr Rahimahullah ta'ala One of our salaf of this ummah Who shows and illustrates from his statement The minhaj of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah And he was Maliki in his madhab and has a very ex famous explanation a tamheed of Muatta Imam Malik and it shows you shows us the Ahl Sunnah that you'll find ulama of Ahl Sunnah that were on various the various madhahib from the uh, Ahnaf or the Han uh, Hanafiya from the Malikiya, from the Shafi'iya, and from the Hanabila, but they were all united on Kitabi Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and their aqidah was one. And this is, we're talking about Ahl Sunnah, we're not talking about the Mu'tazila from them, or the Jahmiya from them, or the Maturidiya from them, or the Asha'ira from them, or the Khawarij from them. But we're talking about Ahl Sunnah, that regardless of the madhab and fiqh, that their itiqad was the itiqad of Ahl Sunnah. Listen to uh, Imam Ibn Abdu Barr, rahimahullah ta'ala. He said, Ahl Sunnah, majma'una ala iqrar bi sifat al warida kullaha fil Qur'ani wa Sunnah wal iman biha. So he said, Ahl Sunnah is in full agreement and acceptance of the divine characteristics that are mentioned all of them that are mentioned in the Quran and the Sunnah and we believe in it you know and they have Iman Biha Wahamalahala Hakika and they interpreted it and Yufasr and explained it in its reality in its apparent meaning so Ahl Sunnah the Asl is that we accept the zahir of the text of the Quran and the Sunnah? If Allah subhanahu wa taala says that He Ar Rahman Ar Ars Istawa, we say Al Ar Rahman Al Ars Istawa. This is what Ahl Sunnah says. We don't make tawil. We don't, uh, uh, you know, negate and the other traits or tahrif like the Ashaira and the Maturidiya. He said, وَهَمَلَ هَلَا حَقِيقَ This is Imam Ibn Abdi Barr. لَا عَلَى مَجَاز He said, and not in عَلَى مَجَاز Majaz referring to, that means we accept the apparent meaning and we don't look for the, the analogous meaning or the, to make an analogy or the, the meaning which is uh, not apparent. Illa annahum la yukayfuna shay min thalik Except that they do not, meaning Ahl Sunnah, does not ask how about any of those sifat, any of those divine sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that are mentioned in the Qur'an and mentioned in the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we don't ask how, we don't ask the description, nor do we try to explain how. We say, Ar-Rahman, he rose above his throne in a manner that suits his majesty. But we don't try to explain. We don't say it's like this. And we don't make a resemblance between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his creation. Even though Ahl al-Batl lies and claims that Ahl sunnah does so. And they attack Shaykh al-Islam. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. Rahmatullah They attack him and say he's the mut from the Mutashabiha. Or he's a, 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 he is from the, those who make resemblance between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's uh, uh, divine characteristics and that of his creation or they say that he is um, they have many other lies and, and claims against Shaykh al-Islam likewise Shaykh al-Islam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab rahimahullah ta'ala and kathir min ulama ahl sunnah they attack and they make takfir of them wa'iyadun billah min ha'ulai dhalin or dhalun then he said wahum ah وَيَزْعَمُونَ أَنَّ مَنْ أَقَرَّ بِهَا مُشَبَّهَ Look at that. 
Ibn Abdul Barr was dealing with this fitna and dealing with this doubt that Ahl al-Bid'ah wa Dalal came up with even back then. And he died about 900 years ago approximately. So he said, and they claim, and this is Ahl al-Batl from the Jahamiyyah, the Mu'tazila, the Asha'ira, and other than them, they claim that the one who accepts Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine names and attributes in, in their real uh, way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, you know, in haqiqah, you know, by the zahir and the apparent meaning and their reality, that they are those people who make resemblance between Allah, His divine uh, attributes, and that of His creation. This is what they claimed back then. Wa'iyadhan billah. And he said, وَهُمْ عِنْدَ مَنْ أَثْبَتَهَا نَافُونَ لِلْمَعْبُودِ وَالْحَقْ فِي مَا قَالَهُ قَائِلُونَ بِمَا نَتَقَ بِهِ كِتَابِ اللَّهِ وَسُنَّةِ رُسُولِهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَمْ وَهُمْ عَأِمَّةَ الْجَمَاعَةَ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ So he said that they, meaning the Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, that they affirm, uh, they affirm those attributes that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed about himself in describing himself subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and negate those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has negated about himself and anything that denotes imper imperfection. Likewise, anything on the tongue of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he negated. The Ahl sunnah they follow that qa'idah. Qala Allah, qala Rasul. Allah said and the messenger said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he said, and the truth is uh, what they said, those people who, 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 who accept and take the claim with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about himself in the book of Allah and in the sunnah of his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he said, they are the imams of the jama'ah. And then he said, Walhamdulillah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Anything that I said was, that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Any misinterpretation, any mistakes were from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.